Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Calvin. This is Camp TV. We are here to tell you about our commercial for the B microphone. It's amazing. Trust me, you'll love it. Mm-hmm. It's the best microphone you've ever seen. Introducing the B microphone. This is the best microphone you will ever find. Made with the finest materials we could find from the garbage, this microphone will change your life. It, it, it'll change your life. Just listen to the beautiful audio quality. <laughs> This is a regular lav mic. This is the quality of the microphone. But compared to the B mic, it's pretty bad. So get yourself a B microphone today. I would surely buy 10 of those. Me too. What would you say was the hardest part in making the B microphone? Uh, finding the right market. Mm. What about, what was your struggle with it? I would say that the hardest part was like manufacturing it, you know? But we really put a lot of hard work into it so the audio was perfect. I mean, you can't have bad audio. Yeah. Why did you do this? Uh, I did it because I figured that, you know, the people needed the best microphone ever. Uh, what would you say was the reason that you decided to do the B microphone? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> okay. Yes or no? Huh? Yes or no? Yes. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Never. That's a wrong answer. Wow. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of life? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Well, what would you say was the reason that you chose to do a commercial? People need to know about microphones, and they need to know that they need to choose the right one in order to succeed in life, or else you will fail miserably. Okay. Bye. Hello, my name is Svenja Ling, and this is Robert. My name is Katie. My name is Bowden. I'm CEO of Ari Water, and this is Gloria. This is our new and improved Otter Water with our latest flavor here on River. I'm going to interview I Don't Know. I Don't Know. How do you like your Otter Water? Uh, it's disgusting and gross. Nobody should yeah, buy it. Yeah. So, can you tell us about the history of otter water? Of the history? Well, it started a few years ago when, in a sewer, I found my precious Gloria. Well, however, when I brought her home, <sighs> I made one of the greatest mistakes of my life. I left my blender out on the counter and open. So poor Gloria climbed in and turned it on and made the first otter water product. Since then, we have improved greatly the humanity of our product, and um, this is Gloria the 35th. Uh, may I know the ingredients of otter water? Um, I'm afraid those are um, 
company secrets. However, I can confirm that it is not made with animal feces and urine, nail polish, laundry detergent, liquid titanium, mercury, otter hair and fur, or rat poison. Okay, um, so who drank the first otter water? Like, who had the honor to drink it? Well, um, if you go to our headquarters in Iceland, next to it there is um, a cemetery, and um, the first tombstone is of the first person who drank um, otter water. He died of natural causes a few minutes after drinking the otter water. Natural causes, you say? Natural causes. Okay, and why is our mascot named Gloria? Well, in commemoration of our first Gloria the Otter. But um, I don't know, she just looked like a Gloria. Well, um, <laughs> so. Uh, you are our interviewer. What do you think is your favorite part of your job? The interviewing? The interviewing. Okay. And you, as the head of our perfume commercial and the lead actor, um, how, did you, how did you enjoy it? It was fun, and it, the perfume smelled really good. I see. And you promise you won't sue if you face um, <laughs> radiation or... Um, health problems after the advertisement? No. Okay. Bowden? Yes. What, if you were to play another instrument that was not the clarinet, what instrument would it be? Bass clarinet. Fenya, what is Robert's full name? Robert's full name is Robert Roberto Roberts. It's a long name. I, I see. <laughs> well, I think that's everything. Hello, Hello. Hello. I'm Lorenzo Carr White. And I'm Theo Kligger. And this is our movie, Jenny from the Block. I hope you like hope you it. Enjoy. Sorry, Jim. I'm really sorry I'll say this, but I really hate your mother. She's just horrible. Yeah, I yeah. had a lot of strike on my head and she didn't do nothing about it. Yeah, that's yeah. That's do you think she left you any money in her will? Yeah. No, Six she, million dollars. She probably wasted it all on charity. So self. Wow. I know. Wow. Doesn't think about other people at all. <laughs> it's so sad. It was horrible. <laughs> I know. I really hate her. She's she's a horrible person. She never um cared. She never cared about you for a moment. Even when you almost died, she was drinking cocktails. In a car, at, at, at a beach resort. Wait, in a car? Uh, in, in, a, in a beach resort. And uh, she didn't do nothing about your life, Charity. Charity. We, those uh, selfish brats will get what they deserve. This is the last straw. I know. Uh, we should, we should plan something. That we should murder her. Murder? That's a step too far. She. She, he got, uh, it's, uh, our, our butler got struck by lightning. Uh, you're the butler! <laughs> oh no, <laughs> what a thought was. Uh, but uh, your son got struck by lightning and, and she, she didn't do anything about it. I was the one who had to. So, where's the butler? Oh, uh, the butler? Oh, he, he's gonna hang him back a little bit. He has to get all my, all my Air Jordans. But how many did you pack?
Check the cameras and see. I came out. And cameras said, in the bathroom? Outside of the bathroom. Hmm. Right where the murder took place. Hmm. Okay, that's very suspicious. You saw the dead. The dead body was right there. I came out next to it, and I said, "Whoa, that's a big one." Okay, when I came out the, of the bathroom. Check the murder. The, big, the murder weapon. Nothing. No fingerprints? Murder used the uh, gloves. You're free to go. Next suspect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Interrogator, you forgot to bring this. This was also at the scene of the crime. My the wife wears this all the time. The murderer had no gloves. The murderer had no gloves. The reason she wears it all the time is because uh, it's stuck to her head. As you can see, we ripped it off. We do have some Yes, there are, there are strands. Those are my fingerprints. Them. I just brought it to you. Oh, okay. We do have some fingerprints over here. So, what are the questions you want to ask me, interrogator? Where were you at the time of the murder? At the time of the murder? At the time at 8.05 p.m. I was swimming in the pool with my son. We are in a hotel. Okay. Where were you at 8.15? 8.15. 8 they wanted they wanted revenge, and so what they did was they placed a uh, a spy from their ranks in, into our home, and they and uh, they said it was going to be somebody who works for us. So it might have been our butler, but probably not. He's still loyal. So he's still loyal. What else could it be? Any staff of the hotel, like the hotel clerk, could be the hotel clerk. Well, I didn't actually get a good look at the hotel clerk, but but the hotel clerk might be an enemy. She, she did have this a lot was of also money. found at the scene of the crime. Does this have any like <gasps> That's the insignia of the mafia. <laughs> really? It's a it's a tassel. That's what the mafia wear. Okay. Whoever this murderer is, um, they're a member of the mafia. I can say that for sure. Alright. You're good to go. Alrighty then. Let's go. Next suspect! Where were you at the time of the murder? Swimming. Swimming? At the pool. At the pool? Yeah. What? Are you aware that the pool is on the same level as the murder occurred on? No, it's at the top of the building. See, it's like in the hallway next to the kitchen. The, no, it's not. The pool is not on the top of the building. It's in the ground floor. Were you, are, were you aware that your father said that you were, um... Swimming with him? 
that you that you went to the bathroom around eight oh five, the exact time of the murder. But why would I want to kill my own mom? I've heard from a very um uh good butler that you hated your own mother. Is this true? No, it's not. Lies. Then why is she dead right there? All right, I will scan. Not the body, dummy. The your actual fingerprints are all over the body. Hold on, here. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Get, you're the prime out. suspect. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> run, little Timmy, run. <laughs> Does this look familiar to you? Ah, the mafia has got you! Okay, Butler, we have some more questions. Oh, Butler! Oh my God. No! No! Call 911! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, our Butler was just murdered. Oh, he has the thing of the mafia on his head! Yeah, we need to get the officers right now. Right here, right here. Get right down here, here immediately! Go, go, go! Butler! Why, mafia? Why? <laughs> okay, okay. We are gathered here today to mourn the passing of Jennifer Lopez, AKA JLo, AKA Jenny from the Block, AKA She Who Wore Wigs. We are saddened to hear that she was taken from this earth all too soon by a payment she could have made with money she did have, but chose not to. Some might say, that's what you deserve. But I am not those some people. And I say, darn. Taken too soon. Jenny from the block. The originator. The actress from Selena who played Selena. <laughs> we will mourn her passing every day for about two weeks. And then we're going to move on to the next celebrity death. But for now, we're going to send her off with some beautiful clarinet music. Go ahead and take it away. Take it away. <laughs> and now we will, if we could have a moment of silence for Jennifer Lopez. And now, a farewell from George Lucas himself. He has blessed us with this opportunity to hum the Star Wars theme out of tune and out of sync. And a one, and a five, and a six, and a ten.
who should kill the detective. Doesn't sound that bad to me. How do you propose we do this? What about poison gas? You have contacts with people who make that kind of stuff, don't you? I do. I want you to contact them and get something figured out by tomorrow. Deliver it no later than the day after. Understood? Understood, boss. And you? You're poking your nose in places that shouldn't be. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's the Mafia. I gotta do something. You! That's me, and I'm gonna call the police, you Mafia scum. Mafia scum? How dare you? Police! I have the head of the Mafia! Come quick! We're here! We're here! We're coming! This is our new and improved otter water with our latest fr flavor here on River. I'm going to interview I don't know. So, uh, what did you think of the movie, Theo? Oh, it was great. Full of comedy. <laughs> Drama, it was great. romance, every single yeah. movie needs. Yeah. Romance? Romance, well, not so much. Uh, so I'm here to ask you scene with you and Jenny in the slide, in the, in the, in the um, slideshow after the funeral. <laughs> um, you, you and Jenny were sitting on the couch. Anyway, so that was, uh, yeah. I'm here to ask you guys some questions. So, the producer. He's the producer. I'm the executive ex producer. Ex ex I'm the director. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. What was the hardest part about the movie? I don't know. Was it the stunt devil or something like that? I feel like it was maybe um, how somebody named Lorenzo wouldn't stop yelling in the middle of mm -hmm. uh, some of the scenes. Mm -hmm. And also he was uh, like, not really helpful. Helpful. Yeah, right. it, was, it was really nice. So what inspired you to make this great, wonderful I, movie? Well, well, I've gotten a lot of ins dead inspiration. My like, <laughs> name is Jennifer. <laughs> like from, from um, searching up from reading random articles online, I learned okay. that Jennifer Lopez exists. But most of my inspiration came from you, Lorenzo. You gave me the idea about Jennifer Lopez because you were so obsessed with her. And then you moved on to be obsessed with another celebrity. Um, but we still did a movie about her anyway. Yeah, okay. What was the easiest part about filming? I think it was the fact that we uh, had cameras that we could use. Cameras oh, that you could use. Those I cameras mean. were great. I love those. Yeah. Um, it was you better than. Them and stuff. It was better than, like, you so know, a stick. So, who pitched in the most? I in think it was probably me. I, th I think it was no, more me. I was think it was it I, 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 I did I all of the editing. I came up with all of the stories. I did all the slideshow. And I came I, up with a bunch of the stories. I did the, I did the funeral slideshow, no, which was the best I part did the of the credit slideshow. That was and I don't even know what you're talking about. I came up no, with all, all of the it story. It was me. It was all me. <laughs> you did all right. it. Next question. You guys are familiar with the movie Marvel. The movie. What do you mean? The, <laughs> the Marvel. Marvel. You mean Marvel Studios? Yeah, Marvel they have Studios. over a hundred movies. Yes, yeah. that's straight. Yeah, you yeah. realize that you copy one of their pages. 
Uh, one of the. No, no, no. Uh, that's I, actually, that's think, actually completely unrelated. different. Do you yeah. think that that could up. be copyrighted? Un unrelated, have you heard of the uh, unfortunate disappearances of all of the Marvel CEOs? That no. was so sad. I have not. All, uh, <laughs> all of the executive guys <laughs> and like the important people all uh, they got killed vans, by poisonous gas. When they were walking, no, when, when they were walking <laughs> on the street, vans pulled up to them, and grabbed them, them, and pulled them gas. in, and then they were executed later with poisonous gas. So how do you think about So that? no, there's no one that had to sue us. Okay, so, yeah. but do you realize that you could get copyrighted? But there's, there's, no, one there's there no one there to sue us. They're all, they, um, they have all sadly. mysteriously disappeared. So sad what happened. Do you have they were, Some of them were also fed otter water. Do you? Otter oh, well, water is very good. Oh, yes, sorry. Yeah. The, they, were, they were fed, they, they were fed otter water, uh, natural causes. Yeah. All those stupid Well, that is causes, done like, for the interview. So done you for guys the interview. did a great job. Yeah. Amazing, amazing movie. Yeah. Yeah. Really good movie. Yeah, but we have to give our biggest well, thank you to Otter, Otter Water. Water. Uh, they Water. Thank Water. you Water. so Water. much. Thank you. Well, we, we couldn't have made this, uh, this wonderful yeah. movie without you. Unfortunately, yeah. everyone Drink who's Otter Water it now. Has, Buy it um, in your local Kroger's ev right now. Everyone who's drank it has died of unfortunate natural causes, like, um, Loss it's of their organs lucky. or uranium mysteriously making its way into their body. I this don't know how that lucky. got there, it's you so know? Sad. They climbed into a nuclear powered car, maybe, you know? It leaked and they died. You like, know? yeah. Like, like, Back to the Future? Yeah. Yeah. They like Tesla, you know? <laughs> there's no nuclear powered cars. Now there is. No, there's not. Yeah. Yes, there is. No. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's nuclear cars. No, they just use the car from Back to the Future because that's nuclear. Get the cars, how the cars? No, it was Back to the Future. They they used the doc. How do you had to use if it's in the future? To, if it's in the future, how do you go back to the future? You would have to be more forward in the future. You weren't in the future. No, you weren't in the future. So how do you go back to the future? Because right, we're done with this past. interview. Come on. Oh wait, but that was wait, the we're future. Done. We're, from done. we're done. We're done. We are done. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are done. No more debating. Let's go. We're done. We're done. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking and interviewing people. So I'll go. You made otter water, right? Or, I mean, yeah, you made otter water. I have a few questions for you about otter water. And I have a question for you, too. What inspired you to make otter water? The fact that we need a water brand. Water brand. Okay. What do you think about, how? Do, what inspired you about making Otter Water you? Um, I mean, it smells great. Not at all. Like, a sewage or something. Okay. What does Otter Water contain? Like, what is in it? That is a very, very secret formula. Okay. What does otter water or otter perfume contain? Uh, that is also a comp. Okay. I will pass it on to you. Oh, yes. So, Bowden, yeah. uh, there has been a lot of talk about the government trying to seize otter water products and use them um, for nuclear weapons re research development. Well, Can you tell us about that? Well, um, the development of nuclear weapons using the otter water was... Um, a bit too successful, so a moment of silence to those lost military people. They'll be buried. <laughs> They'll be buried with 13,000 other people <laughs> who died of natural causes after <laughs> drinking a product. Definitely natural. Totally natural. Also, there have been reports of loud um, screeching coming from your factory at night, and after thorough excavating, there have also been the bodies of what look to be velociraptors buried near your factory. Can you tell us about that? Well, um, firstly, I'd just like to say that we do not put velociraptor flesh in our product. And so, um, uh, about the uh the screams. Well, they're just they're just old machinery. You know, it doesn't always work too well. Yeah. Um. Well, you you know your company is a bit less than a year old. So can you tell us about how that machinery is so old? Well, actually, uh, 
well, the, the machinery is from the, um, the owner before the last owner of the building. You see, originally, it was a car factory and then a state prison. And so we decided it would be the perfect spot to build our company. Can you tell us about why there were machines in a state prison? Well, um, the machines were um, used on the prisoners occasionally, and they were like, you know, for helping um, interrogations go smoothly. But um, we, we don't use them that often, and certainly not on our treasured employees. May they rest in peace. Oh, yes. I, I just love otter water, made from such a nice creature and made in such a beautiful environment. Iceland is your company's headquarters, I believe. Yeah, the factory around it is nice. It even has a river. Um, it's connected to a mountain. The water before the water before the factory is nice and clear. The water after it leaves the factory is well. It, I can say it's not very much water. There's a strange greenish neon glow coming from it. And any contact to it with human skin has resulted in the human instantly shriveling. Can you tell us about the environment of your company? Well, um, firstly, I'd like to say that we are an LLC. And um, so you can sue us, but you're really not going to get that much money from it. And um, the river has nothing, and I mean nothing, to do with our company. It is a sheer coincidence at the moment. It reaches our grounds. It turns bright green. Yes. I'm sure all of the otter fur found in it was just, um, just, just random. Uh, but totally it's not, uh, uh, anything to do with your company. Yeah, um, there is, that river is also home to a large salmon population. And the salmon surveyed coming out of the greenish water have been, um, well, about 10 feet long with large furry claws um, and giraffe legs. Um, well, sir, I believe you should check your sources. The salmon that go into the river do not come out of the river. Uh, yes, thank you. That was a very good interview from Bowden, the CEO of Otter Water Industry. Yeah. Gloria! Gloria! Glory has died, and that's so no, tragic. The otter. Glory's the otter. What? I must do it. I am a CPR. She did CPR. She did CPR. It's too late. He's alive. He's alive. Uh, no, I. He's dead. Actually. Oh, she's dead. No. She's dead. Okay. My precious Gloria. Okay, hold on, hold on a sec. Uh, a uh, Gloria thirty-five is dead. We need a Gloria thirty-six. Uh, uh okay, okay. Oh, yay! It's, it's Gloria 36. Beautiful Gloria 36. Very professional. I like your style, Lorenzo. Is Gloria 36 alright? Gloria 36? Just your person! No, not another one. Um, uh, none of this is real, kids. It's all just. Oh, it's just um, cameras and lighting and, you know, Hollywood special effects. Okay. So, yeah, anything else you wanted to say to me before um, I No, I, no I, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I have something. Why does the water that comes out of your perfume factory is blue? And the fish that go into it turn into monsters that look like that. There is an oil scene in Google, and they have been dumping their products in our beloved. Beloved? And what is your mascot for the perfume? Um, Asylum, I guess. Pretty scary in there. Robert. What the hell is that? Okay, moving on. Why do we see workers coming in and never coming out of your factory? They exit through the back door. And why is the CEO, or COO administrate 
not doing anything about this? I don't. And I wish she was. Also, we have a shout out to our sick friend, Emmett. Yeah, um, Emmett is sick today. Yeah, he drank the otter water, so he's going to have some side effects. Um, Diarrhea. Not diarrhea. Uh, explosive diarrhea. That one's that go boom. Uh, we have also heard that he is sick with many, many diseases. And it's not expected Malaria. To malaria. This is, this is, and cancer too. This is very unrelated to the otter water. It's called otter cancer. It goes uh, from uh, your face uh, to your leg. To yeah, he has not drinking any otter water. I would like to say that. I'd like to say we have been finding cloned Roberts or what whatever the thing is in your factory, and they are all dead with the knife that says your name on it in their heads. So could you explain that? It is original. Nobody can be a clone of him. And those are just so so so, <laughs> so what what what's that over there? What what's that over there? No no no, what's inside the mouse? With a dead Robert? Yeah, a, a clone Robert. We've heard that you were treating your employees terribly by putting them in torture chambers and torturing them until they make otter water? How do we explain I, that? I cannot say that we do that. Now, Lorenzo, I have some questions for you, yeah. too. I'm an interviewer. Why did, why did you name your movie Jenny on the Block? And why is there Burger King it's ads from the block? In it? Why is there Burger King ads in it? Well, we wanted to keep the original con. Shut up. We wanted to keep the concept of funny and funny and Burger King in it. So, like, we included the Burger King and Emmett, like, the amazing producer he is. He edited out amazingly and it was great. Um, and he didn't care at all. You know, he really scrapped the idea of the. He really scrapped the idea of a great film, so he just put a marble thingy in front of it, so it didn't look that good. What? No, okay. Back to our empl employees. We give them a home, and they live in our factory. We give them food, and they are not struggling, and we do not torture them at all. They, um, we are very kind to them. Yeah. This is Robert. Robert, whatever his name is. Um. He doesn't look that cool. You can take it. All right. Do you have any more questions for me? Uh, yes, I do. Why does Jenny's face in your movie change so often? Well, you see here, you see here, not only does she get plastic surgery, but she fell on the concrete while exiting because someone decided to leave um, a, a, a rope. For no reason there. Yeah, left so, the um, she kind of has her skull. It's like a big old line from her skull from here to there. It'd probably be as long as the Titanic. I have no idea. And her goofy hairline. Her goofy hairline. Uh-uh. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing with the rodeo. <laughs> Wrap it up. All right. See you guys later.